Hey, so I'm Helen Nibbs, and I was leading a double life. And I'd like to tell you that was espionage, James Bond antics, and something super exciting, but it wasn't. I was um, a corporate CEO for nine years. I ran two multi-million dollar corporations. And there was a lot of people involved in that. It wasn't just a nice corner office with no noise. I had two boards of directors, that was 30 people. I had over 100 committee members and volunteers, 19 staff, and 8,500 members, because it was a membership association, so it's a lot of noise. And then the other thing that I was doing, my double life, was I was also running my own small business on the side, if you will. I was uh, taking classes and building up a following, doing um, intuitive readings, energy healing, mediumship, you know, so similar. Um, and I really was kind of coasting along with a compartmentalized life and it was quite splintered, but I was like, it's okay. You know, I'll do something about it eventually when I get five minutes. And you know, if you don't move, the universe is going to come and give you a firm kick up the bum. It does. And so for me, it came in the form of a death threat at work. Ironically, I never even met the person. Normally, I have to meet people to annoy them this much, but <laughs> but it gave me the uh, motivation that I needed to take that exit ramp off the corporate highway and to really focus on my dream of doing my own business full time. So I did. And then I thought, oh, I think the pendulum might have swung too far in the other direction. <laughs> And then I thought, well, you know, I kind of missed some things about the corporate and I feel like I still have some stuff to contribute. Maybe I could blend these two things together. Okay, so I want you to start thinking right now all the disparate gifts that you have and how you could put them together. Because if I can put these two things together, I know you've got some stuff that can work out, right? So I decided I was going to be an intuitive business consultant. Yes, it's a made up thing, but I'm not the only one doing it, not the only one doing it. And I'm like, this can work because there's aspects of both that can come together and help people. So being an intuitive, I can come into your business. Um, In fact, I don't actually even need to come there. I'll just be able to tell you, but I can see, feel, know into aspects of your business, your corporation, your leadership team, your hiring, your staffing and see where there are perhaps possibilities, opportunities, obstacles that perhaps a logical approach won't fix all on its own. And I know a lot of people have been talking about how to um, work with employee wellness, how to work with hiring, and a lot of this plays into this because your business is only as healthy as your people. It's only as good as your leadership team. That's what it is, right? Business and people, it's all the same. And the better that we are, the more we can bring to everything. And that's what I wanted to do. I'm like, these two paths that I've been running, I want to pull them together and empower people to balance aspects of themselves and bring bring all their aspects of themselves, whatever that may be, into everything that they do. Because when we're not trying to ride two horses with one bum... <laughs> Um, then we can achieve so much more. We, we can stand in our own power and be so much more productive, happy, and effective. So that's what my mission became, to work with people and to help them to do. And when you think about bringing your gifts together, and I hope you do, think about what can I bring in? What, what do I kind of do on the side that I haven't really been telling anyone about? If you bring that in, don't just sit and think on it. You've got to take action. And Mel Robbins will tell you, you've got to take action in the first five seconds. Otherwise, you're just going to talk yourself out of it. And don't wait until something drastic happens in your life. Start bringing it in. Because that is my mission, to help people do that. And so I hope this has helped you to think about how you would like to bring your gifts together 
however different they may be, because there is a place for everybody and a place for everything. And we can all shift the needle and move it forward. So thank you.